Brothers and sisters in Christ, good morning. I'd like to start off my homily with a question. What type of Catholic Christian are you? You know, the Holy Father, Pope Francis, in some sort of humor, would share different type of Christians. He says, one, you may be a part-time Christian. And we may amplify it more if you have only a part-time perspective of being Christian. Imagine if you have a full-time devil. Naku, napakahirap yun. The devil will work more and make sure that he gets you to his kingdom. Pope Francis also shares that there are halfway Christians. It should be all the way. But you know, when you are halfway, what happens is that you, like a part-time Christian, would give only part of yourself or half of yourself. You do not give the full identity of what it means to become a baptized Catholic. But this is interesting. Pope Francis also describes that there are those who are bat-like Christians. Alam niyo yung bat-like, yung mga panike, di ba? Yung mga panike ay sa araw, Ano? Tulog. Sa, sa mga kuweba, di ba? Sa gabi, gising. No? That's why there is no proclamation of the good news because just when it should be day and you should be working, you are asleep. And then finally, Pope Francis shares that there are those who are sedentary Christians. They are like couch potatoes. Yung bang nakaupo lang sa mga sofa nila. Walang ginagawa kundi manood ng Netflix. Araw-araw may Disney Channel pa nga. Diba? So, they are like that. No? They, they are stuck no? and uh, do not do anything. They are lazy in living out their own Catholic Christian identity. Dear friends in the Lord, in our gospel today, Jesus tells us, as He told His disciples, you are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. And as we all know, salt gives flavor. And this means that our presence must be felt in the world. Salt also preserves. It acts as a preservative. So we must make sure that our own identity contributes to the preservation of the Christian faith. When the Lord said, you are the light of the world in a cave or small room that is dark, just a flicker of light would lighten up the place. That's why, as we always hear, the light of Christ must shine. Dapat ho, yung liwanag ni Kristo ay makita sa atin at tayo po ay maging instrumento para makita ang liwanag ng Panginoon. And very interesting, no, when he gives this metaphor of light, he said, this light cannot be hidden under, let's say, a basket. Because the nature of light is that it must enlighten. It must shine. Minsan naiisip ko, ah, kaya pala, 
in our country before we can boast that we are like 90% Catholic, but now it has dwindled around 80-82%. There are those who have decided to belong to other religious denominations. And sadly, given that 80-82%, only 15% roughly are active Catholics. The great majority are nominal. Sabi nga po, no? kung magdadagdag pa tayo, yung mga nominal, kasama na rin po dyan yung idudoktong nating seasonal Catholic. Yung kasal, binyag, at libing, dun lang po pumupunta sa simbahan. Dear friends in the Lord, Jesus challenges us today to be salt and light to others, to make our Christian presence felt. And you know, as we have this closing of our Jubilee year of Christianity, I'd like to perhaps challenge all of us not to waste the gift of Christian faith we have received. And true enough, if you go back when we started the Jubilee year, the call of the Lord for us is to become gifted to give. F more than 500 years ago, Christianity came to the Philippines through foreign missionaries. Salamat sa Diyos, sa mga misyonero, ipinunla ang pananampalataya sa atin. After more than 500 years, as we all know, looking at the world today, what has happened is that Catholic Christians are diminishing in many parts of countries that have been majority Catholic. Just for you to know, it has been reported that just this year, we are number one in baptisms all over the world. We have even surpassed Brazil. But it's good to ask ourselves, even though there are many baptisms, even though there are many baptized, do we live up to becoming salt and light to us? Thanks be to God, we are now bringing clergy, religious, and lay missionaries all over the world. And our overseas Filipino workers, they say, are our new evangelizers. But here in our country, if most are nominal, we should have a paradigm shift. Sana po, wag lang tayong maging katoliko sa pangalan. Katolikong naglilingkod. And as Pope Francis would even say, if we want to become an effective Catholic today, we should be joyful missionary disciples. To become salt and light is to share the joy of the gospel. It is to share the joy of Christ to others. Amen.